Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're going to talk about the spiritual gifts. So did you know that the Bible talks about how we all have nine types of spiritual gifts and most people don't know about this. And so that's why we're going to you know we're going to talk about it. We're going to read it, read it through the Bible. So make sure you stick to the end of the video so you can get a full understanding of what the spiritual gift is and how you can apply to all of them. So let's go ahead and open the Bible to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And we're going to start off with uh, verse 4. So there are different kinds of gifts, but the same spirit distributes them. So pay attention to that. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working, but in all of them and in everyone, it is the same God at work. Now to each one, the manifestation of the spirit is given for the common good. So pay attention to that as well. So verse 8. To one, there is a given through the Spirit a message of wisdom. To another, a message of knowledge by means by the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by that one Spirit. To another, miracles powers. To another, is prophecy. To another, distinguishing between spirits. To another, speaking in different kinds of tongues. And to still another, the interpretation of tongues. All of these are the work of one and the same spirit. And he distributes them to each one just as he determines. What? So let's go ahead and summarize what we just read. So the, the first one he talked about was wisdom. The second is knowledge. The third is faith. The fourth is gifts of healing. The fifth is miracles powers. The sixth is prophecy. The seventh is distinguishing between spirits. And the no, the number eight, number eight is uh, speaking in different kinds of tongue, and the last is interpreting the tongue or interpretation of tongues. So understanding these spiritual gifts will help you walk stronger with God, and you will have more dominion and authority over the earth against you no know, demonic power. And just understanding like God has given us a spiritual gift, and so I'm gonna explain each and one what it does and why it's such a practical way to apply these and what it can do to change your perspective and just your lifestyle. So Paul talks about wisdom. So wisdom is making smart choices how the Lord will make. So think about how Jesus lived here on earth. So our goal is to make wise choices. So like your finance, maybe maybe you're overspending something too much. Well, wisdom gives you a full understanding like when to spend a specific amount of money, when to step back. So that's that's a good way to, to apply it or maybe just uh, who you associate with, just who you're surrounding yourself with. God is going to give you the wisdom of just making practical ways, making better choices with your life. And so going down to knowledge, knowledge is supernatural information you otherwise would not know. I, I honestly, this is one of my favorite spiritual gifts. It's because there's a lot of times where I can actually feel what a person's going through and they don't even have to tell me. And so, so a great example is I was once praying and I've had a word of knowledge from God how there was a specific person in my church that was going through some, he was going through depression. And I had, I had like a, I remembered that he was talking about that during a service. And so, uh, long story short, I reached out to, you know, some other people from church and wanted to follow up with that specific person. And because I reached out to him and I, that, that guy that was going through depression, I called him just right when he was about to jump off the bridge. So this is a very, very good resource, a very good, very good gift to have it because God was telling me that this guy was about to kill himself if I didn't reach out to him. And so that's a good way of knowledge of what God is, can give to you as well. And so faith, uh, faith is, though, honestly, faith is probably one of the most important gifts to have because without faith, none of these spiritual gifts will apply at all. And so faith is believing or already achieving something that has already have not happened yet. And so, to be honest, with my YouTube channel, I already had strong faith when I opened it. Like, I, I, I'm going to be successful with you no know, made my finance or, or everything. But my YouTube, I had a strong faith that I was going to be successful because I knew what it was going to take to 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 start this journey, and I knew all the sacrifice I was going to have to do. But with my faith, by believing that I will be successful, that's what kept the momentum going. And so, faith is very important to have because without faith, you can't do anything else in life. Like if you don't believe that you're going to get the job, you're going to get. Without faith, you you won't have it. So healing healing is the gift of the Holy Spirit that gives a person the ability to heal physical and emotional alignments through prayer and the power of the Holy Spirit. So think about what Jesus did when he came here on earth. He healed a blind man. 
He heals someone with leprosy. He let lambs walk. Like that, that, that is a spiritual gift. That same power that that rose Jesus from the from from the grave is the same power that's within us, and we have that same ability to do the same thing to heal people by praying for people. And so again, if you don't have faith, as small as a mustard, as small as a mustard seed, you can't do it. If you don't have a relationship with Christ, if you don't have a day to day basis of Christ, well, guess what? How, how are you going to have the strong faith to heal someone? And so that is part of the that is part of the spiritual gift that everyone can receive if you believe. Okay, so miracles, miracles is the gift of the Holy Spirit enables a person to perform miracles that demonstrate the power of the presence of God. So, for example, if you go to uh, John chapter two, uh, this is a this is when Jesus turned water into wine. So Jesus was at a wedding banquet. And they literally ran out of wine. And so so everyone was freaking out. So that was a big deal to make sure to have wine during his wedding. And so Jesus told servants uh, to fill to get six stones of water jars and to fill it with water. And so what he did was he turned all that water, all that six stone of jars of water, and he turned it into wine. So that right there demonstrates a miracle. And so another example with, with a miracle is my YouTube channel. So I opened my YouTube channel in December. And now it's April and I already have 200,000 subscribers. That right there is a miracle. If you know, it does, it does not take fast growth like that unless there's a God up there that's blessing your channel. So, so that is another example of what a miracle is, that, that that's the ability when God used that for, for, for a demonstration of his presence. Okay, so the gift of prophecy. Prophecy is the gift that gives a person the ability to speak on behalf of God. It is to reveal his truth and to provide guidance and encouragement to others. So God is going to use people to speak on behalf of other people. So that goes back to word of knowledge. So sometimes people get supernatural information from God and they'll start speaking prophecy to another person. And so, for example, when I was 19, I went to a specific church and at least five people told me, seriously, five people told me that AJ God is going to God is going to use you to do big things. You're going to reach out to millions of people around the world. And so that right there is a, is a demonstration of what, what prophecy does is to speak on behalf of what God is speaking to them. And so when I heard that, that got me fired up. And so five years goes by. Now I'm opening a YouTube channel, reaching out to millions of people. So that right there is an example of prophecy. Next is disting distinguishing between spirits, also known as discernment. So this gift of the Holy Spirit helps a person to distinguish between truth and error and to recognize false teachings and false prophets. I love this gift because this is what gives me the, the wisdom to who should I associate with of who who's going to help me be a better person and who's going to make me become worse. And so there's different ways for, for discernment is, you know, you can actually read off a person's vibes. I'm sure there's a lot of times where you will meet a new person and you just get a bad feeling. You get like a notch in your stomach or you just get a, a discernment of maybe I shouldn't be hanging out with that person very often. Or uh, what also helps with this teaching, with this discernment, this gift is um, when someone's teaching or someone trying to teach you know, the, the sermon or trying to teach the Bible, uh, you might also get like a you know, weird taste like, hey, maybe that didn't sound right or maybe that sounded a little funky, what, what he was just preaching right there. And last two is speaking in tongues. So tongues is the gift of the Holy Spirit that gives a person the ability to speak in a language they have never learned to praise God and the ability to build up a church. And so so best way, a simple way to explain tongues is that you're speaking in God's language that most people don't understand what you're saying, but God does. And so for me, I personally received this gift. It was like five years ago. I went to a... Uh, Russian church and everyone just started laying hands on me and then you know during that night I was able to start praying in tongues and so I usually pray in tongues is when I don't know what to pray about all of a sudden I just you know when I start praying in tongues that's actually how I got the word of knowledge is when I start getting word of knowledge like what to pray about who to pray for or you know what God is trying to speak to me so that, it's a great gift it's a great tool to have and then last is the interpretation is so interpretation is understanding how to interpret the tongues with God's language. And so that is the last spiritual gift that 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 talks about in first Corinthians chapter 12 that we all can apply and have. So one of the biggest objection I hear a lot with the spiritual gift, how people will say, oh, you can only have one spiritual gift. You cannot receive all nine. Well, that's not true. That's what I say. Pay attention to first four, first Corinthians chapter 12. It says how there are different kinds of gifts but the same spirit distributes them. And then for seven, 
It says it is used for the common good. So what it, what it means by that is God is going to allow you to have these seven spiritual gifts or these nine spiritual gifts, but it, it is used in certain situations. So it, it doesn't make sense for you to heal a person when God wants you to speak prophecy on someone. It doesn't make sense for you to have supernatural information of knowledge when God has already given you the wisdom to make smart choices. If this helped you, I want you to make sure that you like this up. And if you have not subscribed already, make sure to subscribe to watch more of these. So take care.